questions? Or where did we leave off last time? Uh huh. No. For nomenclature, the it's going to say, you know, um, how many ligands there are, and then you can figure out the coordination number from the number of ligands that are attached there. So you don't have to memorize that. All right. Other questions? No. All right. Uh, we're going to continue with the chapter 15 calculations. So I'll talk about chapter 15 for a bit and then stop and then we'll complete the lab from last time. So let's take a look at number 33 here um, first. Number 33, a mixture consisting of 0.150 moles of hydrogen and 0.150 moles of iodine is brought to equilibrium at 445 degrees C in a 3.25 liter flask. What are the equilibrium amounts of hydrogen, iodine, and HI? <coughs> first thing we do is just set up an ice table. So hydrogen plus iodine goes to two HI. All these species are gases, so we could use a KC or KP. KC is given here. The KC value is known, and it's 50.2 at 445 degrees C. Normally we specify a temperature for the Ks because what happens is if you change the temperature, that changes this number. And so as long as you maintain this temperature, this is where we expect the equilibrium, that is the end of the reaction, uh, to be in terms of ratio. So we'll leave that up there. So let's go ahead and put in the initial here. The initial uh, hydrogen is 0.150 molar, uh, not molar. 0.150 moles. When we have a, a KC, we're dealing with molar concentrations, not moles. And so this initial is in terms of amount, not in terms of molarity. And so the first thing we got to do is we got to convert that. You know, if we're dealing with a KP, then we want to convert moles into pressure or atmospheres or bar. If we're dealing with KC, we want to convert that into molarity. And so we'll need the volume for that. The volume's given. The volume is 3.25 liter flask. And so we'll just take moles divided by liters. We'll get molarity. So 0.15 divided by 3.25. And that gives us 0 0.046. We're lot three sig fig, so I'm going to go 461, and then I'm going to carry one extra, minimum. And so I'll have 0.04615, 4615 molar. All right, the ID, uh, we have 0.150 moles, which means the molarity is going to be the same, it's the same volume, 4615 molar. Uh, how about HI? How much HI do we have? Uh, HI is not specified, so we just assume it's got to be zero moles, which will give us zero molar. And so these would be our initial concentrations here. And then there's going to be a change. Um, in this case, the change direction is going to be easy because the change is going to go in the direction of the zeros. And so we have a zero over here, and so it's got to go to the right. That is, um, we're going to lose minus x molar here. It's one. Minus x molar here. And we're going to get plus 2x molar here based on the coefficient. So for every hydrogen, we should form two HIs. Well, we don't know how much hydrogen and iodine we're going to consume, so we'll just leave it as x. Okay, the reason is, is this cannot be. Um, in the reverse direction, because if it were in the reverse direction, it would be plus, plus, minus. If it's plus, plus, minus, then that means we're going to go negative um, for the molarity of H i, which is not possible. It's not possible to have a negative molarity. And so at equilibrium, 
we're going to have 0 0.04615 minus x, 0 0.04615 minus x molar, the units would be molar, and then 2x molar. And so we need to solve for x. Uh, in order to solve for x, we're going to substitute in the Kc expression. The Kc expression is going to be the concentration of Hi at equilibrium squared divided by the concentration of H2 and the concentration of I2. So uh, the Hi concentration is 2x. So this is going to be 2x quantity squared. The H2 concentration is this, 0 0.04615 minus x. And we got two of those, so I'll just go ahead and square this like that. Those are on the bottom. And probably, you know, the easiest, this is a quadratic, so we could multiply it out in the quadratic form, but it looks like this one, we don't have to do that. We don't have to do that because everything on the right is squared. And so if we just square root the left side, which would be 50.2, so the square root of 50.2, and then we'll get rid of the square. So this is just going to come out 2x over 0 0.04615 minus x. And so it's not even a quadratic. It's a little easier to solve this uh, mathematically. And so let's go ahead and take the square root of 50.2. Square root of 50.2 is 22. 0.4 sub 0 this is going to equal 2x divided by 0 0.04615 minus x. And then uh, bring this denominator up up here. So I'm going to get 22.4 times 0 0.04615. Okay. Seven point oh eight five two. All right, I must have screwed up. Oh, oh I actually I'm not com familiar that familiar with the TI, so I did that again, but this time I get what did you get? Seven point oh. I get seven point oh seven one. And when I square that, it comes out, oh, 50.2, that's why. 0.2 squared, 7.085, you're right. Let's screw that up. So we get 7.08 sub 5. Okay, this times that point, so times 0 0.04615 is going to give me 0.3269. Minus 7.085x is equal to 2x. And then add a 7.085x to both sides. So let's continue that here. So I'll get uh, 9.08 sub 5x is equal to 0.3269. Divided by 9.085. And so this gives me an x value of 0 0.03599. Do I have the right number of sig figs? Yeah, three. All right, now that I calculated the x value, I can go back here and calculate the concentrations of equilibrium. So this is going to equal 0.04615 minus point oh three five nine nine. So fifteen three. So I get point zero one oh one six. Is that what you guys get? And so we started off at um, 461, 
five, and we end up at 101.6. So we had a, quite a bit of change there. It wasn't complete though. We have complete reaction. We only have it about uh, you know 20 percent. All right, this is going to be the same number. This is going to be 0 0.01016 molar. And then two times 3599. What's that? 0 0.07198. 0 0.07198 molar. Well, not yet. What we want to do is, you know, with these extra digits, we want to calculate our K value and just as a double check. And so what we're going to do is we're going to check, I'll just say check K. We check K by taking these concentrations and plugging them here. And so the HI concentration e equilibrium was 0 0.07198. So we'll do the 0 0.07198, and then I'm just going to square that. And so that's my HI at equilibrium. The H2 concentration is 0 0.01016, and the I2 is the same, so I'm just going to divide it by 0 0.01016 squared. And so my K value that I calculate is 50.19. What's K supposed to be? 50.2. So that these numbers look good, right? This is the ratio, this is a proper ratio we should have at equilibrium. And so um, this is a quick way to cal check your calculations. Now, if we were to round this, what would this one round to? This would round to 0 0 0.0102.0720. When we do that rounding, though, that rounding introduces round-off error, which means our double-check K value could be off a little bit more. In fact, if we calculate the K with the rounded, just to give you an idea, if I went 0 0.072 squared divided by 0 0.0102 squared, it comes out to, with the rounded values, this is 0 0.0102 molar. You don't have to write the rounded values. You could leave it with the subscript, but the rounded values is going to be 0 0.0102 0.0102. This one's going to be 0 0.0720. So I'll double box these to show that these are the final answers. Those are the final answers, but why don't you calculate the K as a check on this and tell me what you get. When we use the... Uh, 49.83. And so if we did the, the, the check on the K at 49.83, it's supposed to be 50.2. So is that close enough within round off error or did we make a calculation error? Probably round off error, but what if it go, went down to 48? Is that due to round off error or did we make a calculation error? You know, we get to a point where we don't know is that round off error or calculation error? Because if it's calculation error, we've got to go back and fix it. If it's round off error, we just leave it alone, right? And so this is why you want to check um, your calculations using extra digits so you can eliminate the round off error. And then you know if it's off, you made a, maybe an addition error or subtraction error or multiplication error. Something, some simple math error. Yeah, th this K value is has a larger error, right? Mm -hmm. Now that error, is it due to rounding or is it due to something you did in the calculation? Maybe you, you know, maybe you switched two numbers or maybe you miscalculated a subtraction. You know, there's always a worry about that because this error, you know, in terms of percent error, it's supposed to be 50.2, right? It's 49.8. 
Uh, let's go with that. Um, 49.83. 49.83. Uh, minus uh, 50.2 divided by um, 50.2 times 100. And so we have about a 0.7% error, you know, on, on the second one, whereas pretty much this one, when we round this, this is going to be 0% error. So we have, you know, we have a little bit of error. Now, is that error due to some Usually with a small error like that, you'd say round off, you know, but you can't always be so sure. No. I mean, this, it. is this close enough for you? Huh? It's supposed to be 50.2, we got 49.8. Is that close enough? It depends, you know, it depends. Sometimes we want it right on. Keep asking. <laughs> so, keep asking. So what do we do? Yeah. What what I do is I don't round it. I just leave it like this and then calculate it. If if I left the extra digits and it came out forty nine point eight, then I'm starting to suspect maybe I did something. Uh, maybe I need to go back and check it. Because you know? I expect it to be pretty close with the uh, the extra digits. That's all. Yeah. Um, so, uh, for example, like this one, we don't give a, we're not given a molar value. Uh, we just assume it's zero moles for the I. Like for the, uh, from the I state. The H I? Yeah. We yeah. Just assume it's zero. Yeah, you have to, otherwise. Okay. Sometimes it's given um, indirectly, like sometimes you have to do calculations.